Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We have an unbagging today. Today's special feature is Longstreet Attacks, the second day at Gettysburg from Revolution Games. This is part of their series, The American Civil War. So let's take a look at what we get. This, this, uh, this package feels a little burlier than other revolution bagged games but let's let's see what we actually get uh so the first thing we do is we get a we get the the cover sheet right which is which i think is very attractive uh very uh clean elegant looking i really like it i really like the trade dress on these games actually um back of that we have some displays we have a turn record track a victory point track union common events chits and Confederate Common Events Chits, and then a Confederate Command, uh, where it looks like we have Hood, McClaws, and Anderson, which would make sense. Um, and then we have a broken track, where units get broken and they come in here and then they, they gradually trickle down to become, uh, becoming available again. Uh, we have two player aid cards. I haven't mentioned it yet in this video. This is the Blind Swords system, Herman Lutman's Blind Swords system. It's a chip pull system. Um, it plays, we've played it. It's, it plays very very well, although we haven't obviously played this particular uh, edition yet. Um, we liked it. Um, there are um, There is some videos in the uh, channel history. I should get a playlist of these together, actually, um, of Thunder in the Ozarks, which is the Battle of Pea Ridge, which is this same system. Um, so on the player aids, we have the combat results tables and modifiers and stuff on the front. And we have the cohesion test and terrain key on the back. Uh, we also get two player aids. There's a Union and Confederate. These will have some slightly different information on them. There's some basic info on the fronts. And then on the back, we get... Um, events, and I will note that there are more events in this game than there were in the other games that I've looked at, um, which kind of makes sense because I think the engagement's a little bigger in this case. Uh, okay, <clears throat> Long Street Attacks, the second day at Gettysburg. We have a rule book. It is a black and white 32 page rule book. Um, they do need a fair amount of extra space just for setup here. Yeah, this game is twice the size of. Uh, Stonewall Sword, actually. Um, otherwise, the rules are probably exactly the same, I would think. Uh, nothing is leaping out at me as being different. And you'll notice that... Oh, here's some suggested reading. That's cool. We'll get to see exactly where what we, what we get covered in when we look at the map. Uh, but we do have some scenarios, too. So we have the Round Tops, the Whirlpool... The Assault on the Emmitsburg Road. Hammer and the Sickles. The Grand Battle Scenario. Okay, so that kind of tells me what the game's about. Yeah, we're having a little problems with the last, uh, last turn on the last page. Sickles follows orders. This is, scenario is a realistic what-if possibility and simulates what would have happened if Sickles' Third Corps had remained close to its assigned spot in the Union's battle line. So that's an interesting hypo hypothetical situation. Um, so counters. Now we actually have two counter sheets here. Um, so we have a whole sheet of Union counters and a half a sheet of Confederate counters, some more Union counters, so there's definitely more Union on the map here. Um, and some markers. Um, both sheets are on, these are 5 8 inch counters, it looks like. Uh, they're on a thick brown core. Uh, I have, this is the same brown core stock that I've seen from other Revolution Games titles. It's It, it feels very thick, the counters feel very sturdy. Um, and then we have a map. Now this is, unlike uh, Stonewall Sword, which is Cedar Mountain, um, this is a full size map. So here's what we have here. And I know you can't see all this in frame, but this is the best I can do with the current camera holder that's being worked on. Uh, but at least I have this, the table space to lay the whole map out to. So, so progress is being made. Um, so uh, you can tell, obviously, Rick Barber did the map. Okay, It's got his characteristic style. It is, as usual, very attractive. I will repeat my previous criticism that the hex numbers in a lot of this map are very difficult to read. Um, anytime there's anything other than clear terrain in a hex, 
um, that covers up the hex numbers. The hex numbers are hard to read. So all down here, all in here, all this stuff in here is all very difficult to see the hex numbers. Aside from that, it's an attractive map. There's a lot of different elevations on this, which is not really the case with Cedar Mountain so much. Um, or it's at least Cedar Mountain's a less broken terrain. But we got a lot of like ridges and things like that here, which makes sense, right? It's, it's Gettysburg after all. Um, and we can see that we've got big round top and little round top here. Um, somewhere, I'm trying to orient myself now. We should see Devil's Den right around the middle of the map, I would think. Uh, which way is north? Should be that way, I think. Certainly looks like it. The Stony Hill. I mean, again, here's the wheat field, by the way. Um, <clears throat> we have, uh, it's it's pretty hard to read that, I think. Um, Abraham Trostel. Okay. Um... So, I'm having a little trouble orienting myself on this map. Um, so, uh, but it, it's attractive, right? It's got, it's got that very characteristic Rick, uh, Rick Barber style. Um, the stock is, uh, again, pretty standard Revolution game stock. So, it's a heavy paper, quite heavy paper. Um, it doesn't feel like it's got that lamination problem that I see with maps from some publishers where they'll tend to wear extraordinarily on the creases, although that's always going just going to happen. Um, that is not a completely preventable phenomenon. So um, what we have done here is uh, take a, a look at Longstreet Attack, second day at Gettysburg. Um, the second day is for, for many people, I think the, more, the most interesting of the three days. Um, so because we've got, you know, Long, Longstreet's moving in, Sickles out is out exposed. Um, we have the the wheat field and Devil's Den um, happen on the second day, and it looks like we get uh, we get to see that in this game. So this is uh, this is and as a Gettysburg, you know, I, I like I like gaming Gettysburg. So um, we'll get to uh, get this to the table at some point, hopefully in the very near future. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. Um, until next time, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, happy Wargaming.